Do you know why the problem of David was very complicated? When he found himself lost in. Some of you will think that it was the day he slept with Bathsheba that his problem started. No. You see, a cover-up habit keeps growing inside. What some of you don't know is, can I tell you what you don't know? The power of sin, the secret of sin is in his secrecy. Sin is only powerful as long as you keep it secret. The day you want to break the power of sin, break the secrecy, expose it, suddenly you will find that that sin has no more power over you. But the first thing that sin begs for, whenever it comes to your life, he begs for you to make it secret. Are you hearing me? When you begin to have a misbehavior with your wife, the first thing that you are struggling with is how nobody in the parlor will know about it. Are we together? The moment your affection begins to run wild towards a strange girl. Maybe your church secretary. It may be somebody in the office. It may be a student that you are teaching. When your heart begins to go strangely to that, the first thing that that sin begs you for is that to make it how secret. So you know what happens? That girl is this side, is on this side. When you tell your wife where you are going, you will tell your wife, I'm going here. <laughs> and you may actually start so that your wife will think you are going there. And you will face this direction. Only to go this way and corner and you face this direction. So when they ask your wife, where did your husband go? He said, he went there. Because she saw you going there. She did not know that you went behind to corner and face that direction. See, continue to exercise power as long as you are willing to keep it secret. That's why you cannot overcome sin until you are ready to uncover it. Listen to me. Many people have become corroded in their lives simply because they agree to cover up a sinful behavior. Do you know what sin does? When he's begging you to keep it secret, he will threaten you with shame. He said, if you open up now, people will disgrace you. You don't know that the truth is that whether you cover up sin or you open it, sin actually brings you disgrace. The Bible says righteousness exalts a nation, but sin brings what? Reproach. Another word for reproach is what? Disgrace. There is no man who can continue in sin and be in grace. Every time you sin, there is a measure of disgrace. Sin, every time it comes to a man's life, is a reduction of grace. Grace teaches us to say no to sin. But when sin overcomes you, Grace is reduced. But when does grace abound? Grace abound to a sinner who is willing, who is humble enough to open up. 
So the first step, the first principle of personal restoration and revival is behold. Readiness to say, Lord, look at me. Look at me. 